Yes, people, what's going on? Welcome to Stretford Paddock. I am Adam McCola, and I am with you this morning for the news. Sorry, it's not one of those guys outside Old Trafford or at their homes. It is me with you today for this morning's news. And we are talking so much today. Thiago Alcantara's popped back up into the headlines with Manchester United's name. But don't worry, he's not being linked to the club this summer. Eduardo Camavinga, Rafael Varane, Brandon Williams... We have got so much to talk about and a little update on Paul Pogba as well. And we just want that over and done with really, don't we? This has to be the last summer that we have to deal with this shit. Please, please, please. But get in the comments below. Let us know your thoughts on everything that we're discussing today. Because remember, this is your show too. And also make sure you're hitting that subscribe button. We hit 590 the other day. We want to hit 600k ASAP so we can set the next target. Get hitting that subscribe button. But like I was saying, loads to get stuck into. So let's start with it. And let's start with that Thiago Alcantara story just to get it in, get it out. Yeah? Because it's not that deep. Real Ferdinand claims Thiago Alcantara asked to join Manchester United. Now, Real Ferdinand is talking about when he was at Barcelona and leaving Barcelona to go to Bayern Munich. He says Thiago called him, he got his number, Rio's number, from David De Gea and gave Thiago, uh, Thiago gave Rio a call and said, I want to come to Manchester United, tell somebody. Obviously Rio Ferdinand did that, but Thiago Alcantara ended up at Bayern Munich. Now in 2013, is it, you hear about talk about that potentially happening and United letting it slip, Tony Cruz potentially happening and United letting it slip. There's a few deals there United could have made which would have made that post-Fergie transition a little bit smoother. But no, we went with Fellaini and we went with Juan Mata in that summer and it was clear there was no guidance uh, to the transfers and as a result, we didn't succeed. Um, but yeah, interesting one. And it's crazy how, you know, we'd like to think <laughs> Football's like that, you know. Yo, have you got have you got Rio's number? He used to play for Man United. Can I have a word with him just so I could see if he knows someone still at the club? It's like it's really funny, but it looks like that's how it went down. Unless Rio's telling Porkies, which I doubt. Because remember that the picture of the football with De Gea and Thiago and saying see you in Manchester and all that. It definitely seemed like something that was potentially on the cards. Moving on from that, we go on to Manchester United and Eduardo Camavinga. Now the reports today are saying Rafael Varane, 50 million. Camavinga, 25 million. And if that was to happen, that would be a steel deal bargain of the century. Seriously. If United can get those two players for 75 million, just after getting Sancho for 73 million, that would be a pretty shrewd transfer window. And in The Guardian, it says Manchester United are making progress in attempts to sign the midfielder Eduardo Camavinga from Rennes. The 18-year-old is a French international with three caps, but went to the under-21 European Championships rather than the Euros. Uh, Rennes are open to selling Camavinga for £25.7 million because they could lose him for nothing next summer when his contract is due to expire. He has been a long-term target for United and others, notably PSG, um, are also interested. He has been selected for the Tokyo Olympics, which is in um, last August, um, and he is expected to play in those uh, when they do come around, but continuously linked with Manchester United. £25.7 million. Pounds. It'd be an absolute steal at that price, and United are apparently making progress in the talks. Now, we do know the likes of PSG have been interested before. Real Madrid have been interested before. But it looks like those guys financially might not be able to make this deal happen this summer. Which leaves United with an opportunity to try and get in there. We know the player has preferred a move to Paris and staying in France. But if Manchester United can get in there, say yo, Jadon Sancho was just signed. Look at his project that we're building. Mason Greenwood etc etc. You can join them. You know, you can play with Hannibal Medjbury in that midfield. You two could potentially become the future of France together. Like, there's so much that we could offer him. I hope we make this one happen because it would be an absolutely incredible deal, especially at that price. Make it happen, 
please Manchester United make it happen bring Eduardo Camavinga to Man United it'd be so good Southampton this one's coming from the Athletic are confident about Brandon Williams completing a loan deal to their club uh, talks have advanced over a season long loan move although fee yet to be agreed um, Williams 20 years old now he wants regular games say the Athletic and Laurie Whitwell and you can understand you can understand that happening um, I think it's not a bad move you can probably then understand why Ole Gunnar Solskjaer wants to get a fullback when we're being linked with Kieran Trippier if one of your your backup fullbacks are going to leave the club and, and, and end up out, you know, somewhere else on loan. Um, so I get why United are being linked to a fullback. Obviously, Ethan Laird at the club, he's looking like he'll go out on loan again. They all go the load the same. So United need a fullback um, if we are to let those players go. Um, and Brandon Williams looking like he's securing a loan deal to Southampton. And not gonna, I think that's a good move for him, you know. Um, I think that's a good move for him. Um, moving down south, going to Southampton, playing regular Premier League football, hopefully. Um, playing in a competitive side with a good coach as well. Um, I think that could be a good move for Brandon Williams. And let's say he was to do well there and United thought, you know what, we can't offer him the football that he wants. Southampton's a great club to be at and potentially grab a move to. So, fair play to him and good luck to Brandon Williams at Southampton and, and hopefully he comes back having done well uh, because he clearly has the raw ability. Um, we just have to nurture that properly. properly sorry. Um, final story, Paul Pogba. Uh, Mohamed Bouhafsi has reported PSG are in discussions with Paul Pogba's entourage and the player seems more and more open to the idea of joining PSG. Now, PSG linked with him. Could that be a reason why Manchester United are going after Camavinga, PSG are busy looking at Paul Pogba, Man United have tried to steal a march getting Eduardo Camavinga. Now the talk is United don't want to let Paul Pogba go this summer. It's not, you know, his future isn't linked to that of Eduardo Camavinga and we will start negotiating for a new contract or we are in those negotiations. Now all this talk coming from P PSG and Paris, it seems to have popped up out of nowhere. That's because Real Madrid aren't interested. That's because Juventus can't make it happen. I think Patriarchi pretty much said something, you know, pretty much similar this week. Um, said well, he's at Spurs now, but when he was at Juve, you know, saying that financially that's a difficult deal to make happen. Um, and maybe PSG's name are just being chucked into the mix to try and get Manchester United to offer a better contract to improve those contract negotiations, or maybe PSG are genuinely interested. Whatever it is, Man United need to nip this in the bud this summer. Paul Pogba, sign the contract. If not, see you later. Get a nominal fee for him and move on. We can't have this going into January. We just can't have it going into January. Going into the new season, he can talk to clubs in January. United just have to stand by and watch him discuss a move with another club and potentially go on a free. You give Mino Raiola another fat payout. I am just wouldn't be comfortable with that. I'd rather take whatever you can for him, reinvest that elsewhere, maybe get a Jack Grealish or someone and move on if he doesn't sign. If he signs, I'll be one of the happiest Manchester United fans about because I love Paul Pogba. I think he's a fantastic player. I can't be arsed with this shit anymore. Will he? Won't he? Is he going to leave? Is he going to not? And I definitely don't want a, a, like six, seven months of it when he, we're supposed to be focusing on what could be a big season for United. We've got, you know, Sancho through the door. We're trying to build a team, potentially Varane and Camavinga. We don't need that, you know what I mean, constantly being spoken about when we're trying to fight for three, four trophies. So I'd start doing ultimatums and that, but, you know, United want to keep the player, obviously. Anyway, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure you're liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. Until next time, I've been Adam McCola. I'm out of here.